Welcome, dear reader, to the enchanting world of Tarot. Prepare to embark on a whimsical adventure that intertwines two beloved tales, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. In this unique guidebook, we invite you to join us on a journey that will ignite your imagination as we explore the profound symbolism and transformative power of tarot. With the curiosity of Alice and the courage of Dorothy, we'll venture into fantastical realms, encountering peculiar characters and overcoming obstacles along the way. Are you ready to venture down the rabbit hole and follow the yellow brick road? Within these pages of this guidebook, the answers you seek may just be waiting for you. Entwined with the warmth and friendliness of these timeless tales, let's journey to an enchanting place where marvelous and magical things are natural and indeed possible. Hi guys, it's Sissy. Sorry, I've been MIA for a while. I've had a lot going on, uh, mostly good. So anyway, I received this yesterday and I had to come on and share it. This is a Kickstarter. When I first seen it, I was like, I must have this. It's Journey to Oz and Wonderland Tarot Deck and it's by Mystic Madness Tarot. And it's a journey to the Wizard of Oz and to Alice in Wonderland. So they've combined the two. But look at the production quality of this deck. Look, it looks like a little, and it's a magnetic opening. But it's absolutely beautiful. I was so impressed when I opened it. And then you open it like this. If you all want to read that. And it comes with this beautiful little guidebook gilded in gold on the pages and then you have the images with a small write-up and then smaller images on the liners but beautiful little book and look at the inside the box. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And then the backs of the cards are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I mean, this was so well done. It's got the soft gold edges. You guys, I have to tell you, I was playing with this last night and I love it. So I ended up putting it back in order so you can get the, uh, get the view of it the, in all its beautiness. But, um, Here's the first card, which is the full, and I'm only going to hold this one up because I want you to see. In the gold, it says the full, and then underneath it says Alice. So they all have who it is on the card. But look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. We have the magician, the Mad Hatter. But look at all the gold on the front of this. priestess. I won't lift them up. The white queen. Beautiful. The emperor. The wizard of Oz. The empress. Ozma of Oz. Beautiful. The Hierophant is the blue caterpillar. Look at that. It's so pretty. 
The lover is this Dorothy and Scarecrow. Is this background too much? Let's see. Sorry. Try to get something where it might. Let's try a darker background. Maybe that'll work better. Is that better? Maybe. Flying Monkeys is the chariot. Amazing. The Cowardly Lion is strength. Beautiful. The Hermit is the Dormouse. I mean, look at the detail on this. And you see the light gold like border around and there's gold around here I mean I hope that this is doing it justice because these are beautiful and the cardstock is this nice really nice cardstock it's a soft like satiny feel the Will of Fortune is the white rabbit yes Justice is the king of hearts. Look at the dragons in the background. And his sword is gold. The scales are gold. Nice. The hangman, the tin woodman. Death is the Wicked Witch of the West. Temperance is Aunt M. What a beautiful card. The Devil is the Queen of Hearts. And I love, there's like this gold around her necklace. And it just like makes the necklace almost seem like 3D. It's so pretty. This tower, it's the tornado from the Wizard of Oz. But look at all this gold lightning in the tower. I hope you guys can see that. It's absolutely beautiful tower. The star is Glinda, the good witch. The moon is the Cheshire cat. Beautiful. I love this sun card. It's the garden of lively flowers. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And then, was that, that was the sun? Judgment is the Jabberwocky. And then the world is the looking glass. Beautiful. And then you get four bonus cards. And the first one is the witch, which is Dorothy. The second one is the empath, which is the hungry tiger. The third one is the royal footman, the messenger. And the last one is metamorphosis, the blue butterfly. Really nice. Okay, and we'll start with the swords first. I think I'll go this way. Beautiful. Two of swords. Tolgi wood. <laughs> the three of swords is the woodman's heart. The 
four swords of the Red King. Wow. Beautiful. The five of swords, the lion and the unicorn. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I'm going to quit saying it's beautiful, but it's so beautiful. The six of swords, wool and water. Oh. Seven of swords, the walrus and the carpenter. I love how like the oysters have this gold on them. And his little stick has gold. Just so well done. Eight of Swords is the king of the forest. Look how majestic he looks. Oh. And the swords are all right here leaning. The Nine of Swords is the wheelers. And it says beware. I think that's it. No, it just says beware. And then all the swords. Beautiful. Oh, I love this. The Ten of Swords. The Wicked Witch of the East. I think this is where the house might have fell on her. <clears throat> the Griffin. This is the Page of Swords. Beautiful. The Knight of Swords is TikTok. Oh my goodness, the Queen of Swords is the Red Queen. Beautiful. The Gnat is the King of Swords. Look at his eyes. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, the gold. Wow. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Look how magical. It's Glinda's wand. Beautiful. The Enchanted Forest for the Two of Wands. The Three of Wands is the Chess Valley. The Four of Wands is Munchkin Country. So cute. The Five of Wands is Croquet with the Queen. The Six of Wands is Dorothy's Triumph. Beautiful. The Seven of Swords, Alice's Defense. That's so funny where they're poking her. The Eight of Wands, the Looking Glass Railway. So beautiful. The Nine of Wands, the White Knight. The Ten of Wands, Bill the Wizard. Page of Wands, Scraps the Patchwork Girl. The Knight of Wands, Jack Pumpkinhead. Queen of Wands, Belina the Hen. <laughs> King of Wands, Prince Inga. Alright, I love it. Now we're on to the cups. Drink me vile for the Ace of Cups. Two of Cups, Tweedle, Gum, and Tweedle, D. Perfect. Three of Cups, a Mad Tea Party. Beautiful. Four of Cups, Tips Discovery. Look at that background. It's just like, oh my goodness, that's so, so, so cool. 
five of cups, the mock turtle. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Uh, Florida Power and Light was here. They're going to start next week putting the wires underground. It's like, you know, for hurricanes and stuff. So that was them wanting to check the meters and stuff and let us know they're starting next week, which that's a bummer because next week my house gets painted. So hopefully everything goes according. But anyway, where was I? Here we are. The seven or is the six of cups. The lobster quadrille. This is from Alice. So cute. Look at all the cups are gold. The pinchers. Look at this beautiful seven of cups. The gnome king's ornaments. Beautiful. Beautiful seven of cups. Eight of Cups, A Wish Upon a Star. That is so cool. You know how in The Wizard of Oz, it's in the black and white until she gets to Oz. That is so cool. The Nine of Cups, The Wizard's Accolades. Nice. Ten of Cups, the Yellow Brick Road. Wow. The Page of Cups, Button Bright. Look at that face. So cute. Wow. The Knight of Cups, the March Hare. Beautiful. The Queen of Cups, the Glass Cat. Beautiful. Wow. The King of Cups, King Rinkatink. Oh my gosh, he looks so jolly and happy. Love him. Okay, now we're on to the pentacles. It says silver slippers, but you see the ruby. And someone had asked, commented on the Kickstarter comment section, like, why isn't, you know, why don't you have the ruby slippers in there? And she said, MGM has the copyright to the ruby slippers. So this was their way to get around it. So they did the silver slippers with the ruby. I'm fine with that. It's beautiful. I mean, they had no choice. Look at all the gold. Oh, beautiful. The Two of Pentacles, the Mushroom. Wow. The Three of Pentacles, Dorothy's Rescue. Love it. This is so good. The Four of Pentacles, the Wicked Witch's Possessions. I want you guys to see like all the detail in this. This looks like my room, except it's all tarot decks. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles, Humpty Dumpty. The Six of Pentacles, the White King's Plum Cake. Oh, him and the White Queen look so good together. Look at that. Beautiful. The Seven of Pentacles, Aunt M's Garden. Beautiful. <clears throat> The Eight of Pentacles, the Duchess Cook. Look at all the detail. So pretty. Wow. So nice. The Nine of Pentacles.
Pentacles, Queen Alice. Beautiful. The Ten of Pentacles, the Emerald City. Wow, so cool. Oh, look at the rainbow. You guys, this deck is so beautiful. Love, love, love that the Page of Pentacles is Toto. Look at that. So cute. The Knight of Pentacles is the Shaggy Man. Love it. The Queen of Pentacles is the Duchess. So good. Look at all the detail. So good. And then the King of Pentacles is the Gnome King. And look at that gold, like where he's holding that. See that? So good. You guys, this deck is so beautiful. I mean, they did such a fantastic job. I think this ended in like June. The campaign was over in June. And I believe we were supposed to get it in like November. But, you know, there was like, you know, there's always production, you know, delays, right? And so I got it yesterday. And I'm telling you, it was well worth the wait. It is... I can't wait to work with this. I'm going to work with it all February for sure. <laughs> but let's see how it shuffles. And I will read one card. Oh, let's see. I mean, once it breaks in, I think it'll be good. Right? Oh, it's so pretty. And there's like this spot gloss in different areas. So nice. Oh. Let's just see what the ace says since it popped out. Okay. Wands and cups. Ace of cups. Drink me vial. Keywords. New beginnings. Emotional fulfillment. Curiosity, transformation, positivity, hope, love, compassion, and forgiveness. Message. After her fateful fall, Alice discovered a peculiar hall with a glass bottle inscribed, Drink Me. One sip spiraled her into Wonderland's embrace. The Ace of Cups heralds beginnings teeming with emotional depth and uninhibited curiosity. Embrace this invitation for introspection and transformation. Trust your heart's whispers and venture fearlessly into your own wonder-filled explorations. And I'll read the reversed. In reverse, the Drink Me Potion warns against reckless curiosity. Like Alice's hasty sip, it cautions against immature behavior and emotion-driven choices made without logic. Find emotional balance, exercise caution, and tap into transformative intu intuition. Approach your journey authentically and mindfully. Beautiful, right? The book is it's so sweet. I think there's a couple, a couple, uh, yeah. You have, of course, the Celtic Cross. Adventure path spread, past, present, future, and one card pull. And then it tells you like reading the tarot, how to take care of your cards, and understanding the tarot. Here, I'll show you the, uh, yeah, so yeah, so very nice little book, and it all fits in this box, you guys, this is so good, like, I'm just so, so impressed. So, again, 
It's a beautiful box. A beautiful book. And a beautiful deck. Absolutely in love. All right, you guys. That is Journey to Oz and Wonderland by Mystic Madness Tarot. I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to work with her. I'll talk to you all again real soon. Bye-bye.